At that time, when Jesus drew near and saw the city, he wept over it, saying, Would that you, even you, had known on this day the things that make for peace, but now they are hidden from your eyes. For the days will come upon you when your enemies will set up a barricade round you and surround you and hem you in on every side and tear you down to the ground, you and your children within you. And they will not leave one stone upon another in you, because you did not know the time of your visitation. The Gospel of the Lord. God so loved the world, therefore he sent his only Son, Jesus into this world, not to condemn the world, but to save the world. Jesus, who came into this world, was fully human and fully alive. In the Gospel today, we heard how Jesus wept over Jerusalem. This is the second time that Jesus cries. First time at the time of physical death of his beloved friend Lazarus. Now the spiritual death of Jerusalem. If Jesus were to be alive with us, if he comes to visit us personally, what would he find in each one of us? God in many ways speaks to us. And as long as we enjoy the freedom that is given to us by God, even God cannot do anything without our cooperation. God needs our cooperation. God wants us to avail all the graces that are there that is offering. The crucial question today is how much of it is put to use in our lives? How much it has transformed us? There's a saying in English, time and tide don't wait for any one of us. And our life is very uncertain. If the God of love, God of mercy, comes again to judge the living and dead, what will be our condition? Where will you and I be in the presence of God? Today's liturgy challenges us to look within us and to set things right. Yes, put it in a simple way, today's liturgy is a call to a life of conversion. Conversion also means that we decide to love God more than anybody else and more than anything else. May we obtain today the choicest blessings from God in the celebration of the Eucharist and we become truly His living witnesses of love, mercy. Amen.